I just wanted to do a quick update video about the physics jury. So my physics jury video is the most popular video on my channel and I still get people emailing me or commenting about it all the time. And so I wanted to make this update because my previous video is a little bit out of date and I want anyone to have the most up-to-date information if they come across my channel. So if you don't know what video I'm talking about, um, I will link it for you. And if you are looking for general advice in preparing for the physics jury, you should watch that video because I'm not going to reiterate all the stuff that I said there. I just want to give a couple updates that are relevant to the time. I've been meaning to make this video for a while, uh, and I finally got inspired to actually do it because I was cleaning my room the other day and I found all of my physics jury note cards. <laughs> and I couldn't stand to throw them away, so I just put them in this shoebox. And I thought, I should really make that physics jury video. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to need these again, but you never know, I guess. Okay, so the first thing that I want to say is probably the most important, and that is that there's been a change in how they score the physics jury. And there is no negative penalty for wrong answers. So there used to be a quarter point penalty, um, and now there is not. So there is no guessing penalty, and you should put an answer down for every single question, whether you know the answer or not, or have any idea what the answer is whatsoever. This should have a neutral effect on the test as a whole, because everybody is getting scored on the same scale, and you don't get a raw score for the jury. Um, so as long as everybody is getting graded the same, then it shouldn't really matter. But the problem is if you don't know the details of how they score the test, and they do tell you this on test day, but just, um, you know, you want to practice and you want to have a strategy prepared before you go in on test day. And so if you don't know the rules, then you could be at a disadvantage because you don't have the optimal test taking strategy. So as of, I think, September 2017, they no longer is a guessing penalty on the physics jury. It's probably the most important update. <laughs> So also with that, they released a new practice test booklet for the physics jury in 2017, and so there's a new practice test out. I think this is great because the old practice test was getting a little bit dated. So as I said in the previous video, I recommend doing the most recent practice test as your last practice test because it's going to be the most similar to what you'll actually be doing on test day. But of course, leave yourself enough time to study anything that arises out of that test uh, as an area you need to brush up on. Um, also, I had some people tell me they had trouble finding this book that I recommended, the Conquering the Physics Jury book. Um, that is because this is the second edition that I have, and this went out of print last year in 2017. Um, and so for a while it was very hard to find um, copies of it anywhere. However, the new edition was published, the third edition was published in March 2018, and so it should be no problem to get. It's on Amazon, I'm sure it's other places, I can link it below. So you shouldn't have any difficulties getting this book now, which is great because, um, as I said, this was pretty much one of the best tools I used when preparing for the physics jury. Now, I've never used the third edition, so I guess I can't vouch for it, but I imagine it would only get better and Im improvement on the second edition. And then lastly, I just wanted to make the point that if you're taking the physics jury because you're interested in astrophysics, which is what I do, um, there are a lot of institutions and more institutions every year that either don't ask for or don't even accept your physics jury scores at all. So there's a list that's maintained on the, uh, I want to say the physics jury forum, and I'll link that as well. So you can take a look. So if you're interested in astronomy and astrophysics and you're really worried about the physics jury, there are places you can apply that won't take it or won't weight it very heavily, and there's missions decisions. Okay, so I think those are the important points that I just wanted to cover and just make sure that I um, had out there for anyone that was looking for this information. Um, if you're taking the test soon, good luck to you. I'm sure you'll do great, and I hope I see you again soon. All right, bye.